Wait, can I change that? No, the size. Wait, properties. Yeah, I can change the size. Okay. What do you want me to do? Like, maybe make it larger? Oh. I think your voice is so low. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Can you talk again? Hi, baby. More? Hello, baby. Oh my god, ang lakas ng boses ko pala. Uh, hello, hello? 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 Uh, hello? Wait, can you talk? Hi. More? Kamusta ka na, baby? <laughs> I'm not going to go to Hello? Alright, ito. Bosses ko na to. Tapos yung ikaw. Can you. Hello? More? Hi. Again? I love you, baby. Ah, I love you too. Okay, this is okay. And then yung. Am I streaming na no? Yeah, you're streaming na. Nakikita mo? I'm recording with you on stream. Hmm. Pero I need to see your screen through Discord. Ay, oo nga! Kasi hindi ko siya ano. Wait, tapos ito. I-drag ko. How What's about up, AJ? Can you send a long, 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 man, a long message? Ay, nag-send na si, si Lance. Like, mahaba ba? Mahaba to na message. Ask Duff. Yeah. Oh, so. It's only oh. until there. Ano? Eh, yung height. Baka lumampas yung height. Try natin ulit. Oh, no. Ay, pwede ko naman i-crop, di ba? I-alt mo? Oh, no. Ay, 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 na. Nag-alt na ako. What's up, Lance? Sorry, Lance. I'm getting ready pa po. Ganyan. Yan. Yan. Update. Yeah, no, but... Ano ba? Hmm. In this. Yan, sus. Eh? Ano, okay, Nathan? Not yet. Wait, ano ako? Pwede ka bang mag virtual camera habang nagsi-stream para hindi na kumain ng resources yung Discord ng ano, since nakabukas na rin yung OBS. Start virtual camera. Mhm. Mm And then, enable para real time siya. Pero Hindi ka kain ng resources ng screen share. Tapos on, ka on video ako. Camera ako. Mm -hmm. Be sure na sarado lang yung camera mo. Pero flip eh. <laughs> flip mo na lang yung obvious. Yan mo niya nunod sa mga Twitch. <laughs> Naka-ice na, naka-ice na sa akin. Sa side mo lang flip. Ah, okay. 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 Oh, gusto mo munang mag-chit-chat tayo. Pwede naman tayo mag-chit-chat. Ano? Mm. How about let's... Ano na lang, sabihan mo lang ako. Mag-get ready. Para ako, saan ba erase nito? Ginawa ko na itong mm. board. Mm. Para dito so, na lang ako mag-draw. Yes, queen. Oh, wait, mag so, kailangan natin ng one. tools mo. Asan ba yung ano, boss eraser dito? Ayan o. No? Kulit ko ba? Ano ko? Ano ko? Ayan, 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 ayan. Nakikita mo ba? Mm-hmm. Teka lang, pwede pa mag-usap ka muna, boss. Tapos, tingnan ko muna yung stream sa phone ko. Para doon ako magbasa ng chat. Okay, pwede mo. Hello, boss Eriko. Hi, boss Eriko. Kamusta ka na, boss, boss Eriko? Kamusta ka na din? Kamusta na? Nasa, sa, ano, naginag kumain ka na ba, boss? Uh, natulog ka na ba, boss? Mm. Minum ka na ba ng tubig, boss? Ano oh, ba ano yan? Ba boss? Bakit? Ba parang hindi ako nangungumusta sa'yo. Hindi naman, kinakamusta ko lang yung sarili. Nah. 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 Nah.
Okay, islang yun, islang yun, islang yun, islang yun. Yeah. Islang yun, islang yun. So... Baksiting allowed tayo ngayon eh. Ah! <laughs> Talaga ako nakategoring baksiting allowed ah. Mode uh, adventure! That's nice. So, yung plano natin is to hmm. make a... Uh, ano? Roulette... Hmm. Wheel. Yes, queen. No. You need to make a roulette wheel. So, ano yung unang gagawin? Ano, mag ano tayo? Mag point point. I mean, control. Okay. First, tools. Tools. Get the needed tools. Mm-hmm. Tapos? Puro mo yung tools. Iba ba? Iba mo yung tools. Maglagay tayo na. Isang ano? Isa pang part. <coughs> What is Urong? Ah, uh, move it, move it. Move it. Downwards, so we can add more above. I really can, Kasi, you know what, sige, ano lagi? <laughs> Ay, pwede. Ah... Uh, explanation ng ano natin, ng... Dapat ano na lang, no? Ano tawag yun? Sticky note? Pwede na, note. pwede na, pwede na, pwede na, pwede na, pwede na, pwede na, pwede na. Notepad? Isa na lang. Grabe, kailangan mo pala ng note na ano. So, dito. Mm. Ito. Roll it. Well. Okay. Tapos. Number one. Introduction. Okay. So. Ano? Ano nalagay ko niyan? Introduction. Mm-hmm. Tapos? Number two, tools. Ah, no, no, no. So, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tools. Tools. Number three, HTML, CSS. HTML. And CSS. And? CSS. Okay. Mm-hmm. By the way, chat, boss is gonna teach me code. <laughs> okay, dito. Tapos? Tagalog. Ah, si boss mga Tagalog. Ako, I'll, I'll go English. Para saan tong mm-hmm. wheel? Redeem points? Hindi. For... Ma- Oo nga, no? In- introduction tayo. Sa introduction yun. Apa. Madadaanan natin sa introduction yun. So, ah, a- I can see the future. So, according lands. to... According to my, um... Teacher here... What is teacher in Japanese, boss? Sensei. According to my sensei... Maghintay ka. Nadating daw tayo dyan. Truth. We'll get Truth. to that point. Truth. But Truth. for now. Truth. <laughs> Truth. Ah, sige, natabay siya daw. Sige, go That's boss. The truth. Ah, uh, JavaScript. Ano ba yun? Java? If it is not, yeah. no, space, space, space. No, no, space, space. Pero capital yung S. Space. Ah. Space, 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 space. <laughs> yeah, and then? Ah, uh, that's it. It should be short, be. That's it. Okay. Wanna start now or do you wanna wait 5.15? Pwede naman. So like, makam. we can write more here. Oh, sige, stop. Okay. Uh, bonus. Lagi ka ng... Sa ilan ng, sa ilan ng JavaScript, lagi kang bonus features. So, ipasok mo yung introduction tools, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Itab mo siya. So, maglalagay ka sa taas. Ang bilis na nga lang. Ang bilis na nga lang. Move introduction tools, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in words. Make it a sub point instead of a main again? point. Make introduction tools, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript a sub point, not the main point. Of like this, like that. Yeah, you move them all. Move them all, move them all. Got no, it. no, 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 not features. Remove the features first. We need to do something first. I'm sorry, Prof. Hiya. Why you move so fast? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, students. Let's go. Hiya. We, you move introduction too. Yay. Yeah, teka lang. Durong mo rin yung introduction. Itab mo rin yung introduction. Uh, teka lang. Prof. <laughs> Bossu. And... Yeah. Type. Cannot see. Cannot see. Sa ano yung title? Ay, yeah. What's up title? Ay, what's up title? What's up, Nightly? <laughs> what's up? What's up, Lance? 
I mean, 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 I Yes, and then below JavaScript, you need to add another point, which is called uh extra features. Extra features. Yeah, features. Features. Tapos. Yeah, MVP ibig sabihin yun is most viable product. Kapag gagawa ka ng product sa sa engineering. Kalakpo most best player. Yeah, yeah, the best, the best, and the best. Player. <laughs> best, best, best. Okay. Yes. So MVP, big sabi niya is most viable product. Kapag gumagawa kayo ng project sa software engineering na company, lagi kayong may MVP. Yun yung parang dapat yung uh, if follow as much as possible sa umpisa kasi madaling magdiverge yung mga tools na ay yung mga software na ginagawa niyo kapag sobrang excited yung team, sobrang excited yung CEO. So dapat hindi kayo lumalabas sa most viable product. So meron tayong Uh, gagawin natin yung MVP sa loob ng first steps na yan which is yung ano yung roulette wheel and then yung extra features dyan tayo pwede magdagdag ng uh, like siguro overlay ng hmm. board na pwede mong ilagay as browser source like sabihin natin uh, gumawa ka ng board na 10 by 10 etc etc yung mga tapos pwede sabihin ng chat na oh bam sa X1 uh, Y3 tas ma-highlight siya dun sa screen mo. Yung mga ganun. Yung mga extra features yun. So, habang naghihintay tayo, so since 5.12 pa lang naman, pwede tayong mag-alat ng 8 minutes para mag-isip ng extra features. Kung gusto mo, kung may naisip ka pa. Meron pa ba? <laughs> ha? Meron pa ba? Ah, uh, ano bang, can you give me like, exa- like, what are features? Like, alam ko lang is ano, what we are gonna make is the wheel. What, What is the feature there? Feature is yung sa wheel, pwede kang maglagay ng dalawang decision which is yung sabihin nating left or right. Oh, like Yun that. So, mo. maybe, can you correct this one? Like, top or bottom like that? Yeah, pwede Which kang right? maglagay na ganyan. Uh, mm-hmm, pwede tayo maglagay ng extra feature na ganyan, right or left. So... Ano ibig sabihin ng top or bottom, right or left? Anong magiging silbi niya? Ano ba yun? Teka lang ha, can I put this over it? Yes. To decide. So, ang silbi niya is kasi yung 50-50 pwede maging top bottom, pwede maging left or right, di ba? So, paano natin siya i-approach as a feature? Paano mo siya gusto makita? Gusto mo ba magkaroon ng, bago mag-start yung roulette, magkakaroon ka ng choice ng dalawang button na top or bottom and then right or left? And then, pag pinindot mo yung top or bottom na button, mahati sa dalawa yung roulette na nakasulat na top or bottom. Or kapag piniri mo yung right or left na button, mahari yung roulette sa right or left. Kung baga, hindi ka na magta-type, yun ba yung gusto mo mangyari? Yeah, okay. parang... I know. Uh, for maybe can I can I draw it? Mm-hmm. You can. It's like let's just say, na ano. It's like this is, uh, bro, this is the wheel. Mm-hmm. And then there's like there's gonna be like here, like top mm-hmm. or bottom, bottom, and then mm-hmm. left. L-N-R. For right, something like that, and then yun ito lang tuk tuk tuk. Ah, it's auto fill siya. So, feeling ko hindi na natin extra feature yun. Isama na natin yun. I main feature na natin yun. So, pagbalik dun sa notepad mo, sa sticky notes mo. Okay, okay. Ah, so nahati natin yung actually hindi siya MVP. Nahati natin yung mismo structure ng stream natin na introduction and then tools and then HTML and CSS and then JavaScript. So, hindi siya MVP. 
ano siya, more on ano siya. Uh, ano tawag sa ganun? More on structure siya ng stream natin. So, pwede ba nating iurong yan? So, iba, like, i-move mo yung i-move mo yung introduction tools HTML, CSS, JavaScript above MV- MVP and then hatiin ulit natin yung MVP. So, I'm gonna put it like here? Yeah. And then, sa taas ng introduction tools HTML, CSS, JavaScript, lalagay mo yung stream structure. Stream structure. Yan. And then, sa MVP, doon natin hatiin. So, yung MVP yung magiging part ng HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, so paano natin hatiin yung yung paggawa natin yan? Paano? Oh, ano nangyari doon? Bakit tinanggal mo extra features? Oh, so, it really is there. Ah, kasi gagawin na natin siyang main features. Yun yung point mo kaya mo Yeah, yeah. I thought it's not extra anymore. So, sh- okay. should I change the main? Na, sige, tanggalin mo na lang din. Okay. Wala na tayong extra features sa main features na tayo. So, ah. hahatiin na natin yung yung task sa gagawin natin para dun sa HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So, hmm. pwede natin unahin yung design or pwede natin unahin yung logic. Ha- so, hmm. discretion mo to. Ikaw bahala kung ano yung gusto mong unahin. So, ano gusto mong unahin? Can, 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 can we have like a design first so that you can like pinpoint to me like, see that color there? That's the something like that. Pwede natin gawin yun. Sige. Is the design like the drawing part or is it a different design? <laughs> or like uh, the word design? Is it like design like... Should I draw it like design? Like that? Uh, sige, Act huwag natin tawagin design. <laughs> tawagin natin siyang... Because uh, mm. this, this is what I think design is this one. Bale, hindi kasi tayo gagamit ng assets. <laughs> ah, gagamit so, ng so design is not the art. Okay, okay, got it. So... What is design? It, 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 PNG assets, pero design pa rin siya. Ah. Siya yung magiging... Uh, okay, sabi na lang natin, uh, user interface na lang. Mm-hmm. Para, yun yung mas sakto, pero gusto ko sanang gumawa, gumamit ng word na mas pwedeng gamitin sa stream, pero maintindihan naman ng stream kahit sabihin kong user interface. Yun yung unahin natin. Pwede natin unahin yung user interface or yung uh, logic. Either user interface or yung logic. Yung sa logic, pwede natin sabihin yung algorithm. What, yung logic. what can you... What can you ano? So, sabihin natin design, uh, and then parenthesis, user interface, and then logic, parenthesis, algorithm. Hello, Shtomi. Hello, Shtomi. Art, art, art tayo gamit ano? Gamit programming. Want it like that, too, Swa? Uh, I'm just gonna put it for if ever somebody will ask, like, what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Nescafe 2 in 1. Teka lang, ha? Hehe. <laughs> Nescafe 2 in 1. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba yun? That's a joke, this. Ah. Okay, for context, para dun sa mga bagong dating, Si Twist kasi, nang most of the time nangyayari sa kanya, bilang isang minesweeper professional, Lock. lagi nangyayari sa kanya yung 50-50 issues. Meaning, na pwedeng maging top or bottom yung bump, pwede rin maging left or right. So, gagawa kami ng roulette para makatulong sa kanya. Pwede naman maghanap ng mga online resources para sa ganito, pero we wanted to have fun. And hopefully, soon, madagdagan yung mga needs ni Twist. And madagdagan din niya ng features yung ginagawa niya. So, for now, gagawa kami ng roulette wheel mm. na mamimili from top to bot, top or bottom, and left or right. <gasps> Ako, pinagalitan ka. Wala siya. Ako yung student okay. na ano eh, like drawing lang ng drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko procrastinate ba? Ganun, yung yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. Okay. okay, balik tayo dun sa ano natin. So, design and then parenthesis, uh, user interface and then logic, parenthesis, algorithm. Design. Logic. Tapos. Algorithm. Uh, I'll go, re- like, rhythm, rhythm? 
Ay, 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 ay. Ay? Like, like that? Uh, oh, nga pala. I got it. Alright, thank you. Okay, so, pwede kang mamili. May tuition ba to? Mm. Choice nyo. <laughs> so, part siya ng MVP. Si oh, is it? Si design sa Ana. Mm. Ah. Pinapapili kita kung ano unahin natin. Si design ba o si logic? Okay. So, so ano gusto mong unahin? Design o si logic? I'll go alphabetic ka na lang kasi di ko alam eh. So, design. Okay, so... Pwede nating hatiin yung design sa uh, looks and animation. Okay. Number one, looks. And then second, animation. Looks. Second, animation. Alright. Okay. Yung first one, sa looks, pwede mo rin siyang hatiin ulit. Okay. Uh, make the circle. Mm, make the... The circle. Circle. Add the text inside the circle. In your second part. Add a text in inside the circle. Inside the circle. Mm -hmm. Third one is uh divide. Ah, okay, para mas. Mm, sa project management. Pwede kang gumawa ng sobrang daming steps or pwede kang gumawa ng konting steps. Meron sila parehong charm, depende sa team. Pag konti steps and then may tiwala naman kayo sa, sa isa't isa, hindi kayo malulunod sa itsura ng steps. Pero madaling maligaw sa process na ginagawa nyo. Kaya ako, pag nag nagmamanage ako ng project, mas gusto ko yung maraming steps hanggang sa pinaka-small detail lalagay ko. Para talagang pakasunod-sunod, nagawa na ba natin to nagawa na ba natin to nagawa na ba natin yan? And I so, yung ginagawa natin is medyo meticulous na, pero mas helpful siya mamaya. Mas madadalian tayo mamaya. So, make the circle, add the text inside the circle, and then, uh... But I prefer it like this way, boss. So, like, even though, mm -hmm. like, even the tightness thing, but it's still part of the step, I like it that way, because mm. I myself is not familiar with this. Mm -hmm. So, I really need that meticulous step by step. And, yeah, mm -hmm. so what you're doing is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, Bobek, Bobek. maganda lang yung smaller steps talaga kung magkakakilala na kayo. Pero, yung, ay maganda yung bigger steps, yung broader steps kung magkakilala kayo and kabisado nyo na yung team. Mm. Pero, kailangan talagang i-consider na may mga taong bago na darating. Kasi sa programming, may tinatawag na bus factor. Ibig sabihin, anytime sa buhay mo, pwede ka masagasaan ng bus. And kailangan yung work mo, na no joke, <laughs> ang, ang, ano, ang, ang morbid, pero talagang term sa programming, may bus factor. Wala pa bang mas na, i... Uh, ano pa yan, boss? <laughs> mas i-morbid? Uh, gusto mo, ah... Uh, mm, Wala pang bike? Bike dyan? Uh, meet meet bike your morbid. factor kung gusto mo. Meet your factor. Right. Anytime pwedeng bagsakan ng meet your yung bahay mo, tumama <laughs> sa mata mo. Ganon. So, hindi mo alam. So, kailangan talaga gagawin mo yung mga yung pagmanid ng, ng, ng project mo, yung documentation mm -hmm. in a way na kahit sino may intindihan yung ginagawa mo. So, tayo, pag natapos natin itong project management na to, yung notepad na to, pwede na tayo mag-end dito and yung chat, kaya nilang i-continue yung step by step yeah. sa kanila. So, you call this one again what? Project management. Project management, alright. Mm -hmm. Pwede kayong magkaroon ng sobrang gagaling na programa, pero kung wala kayong project manager, babagsak talaga ang company nyo. Mm. Kasi, uso sa mga team ng programmers yung tinatawag na yung benevolent dictator. Ibig sabihin, walang ibang masusunod kung hindi siya. Hanggang sa dulo siya. Ang issue doon, pag nawala siya, pag namatay siya, babagsak ang, ang project. Maliban sa benevolent dictator, uh, tawag, yung term doon parang benevolent dictator for life, BDFL. Uh, example nun, dati si Bill Gates, dati BDFL siya sa Windows. Pero ngayon, wala na umalis siya sa Windows kasi matanda na siya. Si, si Bram, yung gumawa ng Vim, talagang siya lang yung nasusunod. Mm, sino pa ba? Masa maraming BDFL. Tapos, maliban sa BDFL, merong ibang tao na magaling pero toxic siya para sa team yung mga taong mahilig mag-code sa sarili nila 
Tapos uh, may prof o oh, anyun. May lig magkuy para sa sarili nila. Ang problema, hindi na sila naiintindihan. Ang mangyayari, may hirapan yung company ng tanggalin yung taong yun. Mm. And in turn, mas nagiging expensive pa sila for the company. Walang masama doon. Wala namang hindi ko naman sinasabing uh, wag mong pahalagahan yung sarili mo, pero kumbaga parang mas unahin mo yung ano, yung yung craft mo kaysa sa personal gains mo. So, so, kung gusto mo talaga makatulong sa iba. Pagdating dito, kasi sa software development ginagawa to para mapadali yung buhay ng ibang tao. Okay, so what do I do next, bro? So, Here, what's the third step for looks? Ah, uh, sige, magpapamitikulis tayo. Uh, color choices. Color I mean, choices. Ano ba kailangan ba natin gawing red or green yung kabila? I want it to be... No, no, let's talk about it later. Okay. And then, ah... Uh, after pala ng, before pala ng color, between add a text and color choices, dun mo na nalagay yung, ano, uh, division ng... Division? Board division, ganun. Hatiin yung board sa dalawa. Pai, pai, pai. Make a pai. And then? Make a 50-50 pai. Hey. Good. Good. Uh, good part yan. Pag-usapan natin yan. Kung hindi ka nakapag-start sa manood ng stream natin and then nabasa mo, make a 50-50 pie. For you ba, magigets mo ba yan? Anong tingin mo kung hindi ikaw si Twiswa? Ano ba yan? Uh, Alright, descriptive I'll... ba yan? Um... Or mas descriptive ba yung divide the circle into two. Okay. No, no, no. No, I think this is better. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, pwede na yan? Yeah. Pwede na yan, pwede na yan. Yan yung design part natin. Pwede na tayo mag-move on sa animation. How about the, ano? This one. Is it like okay, that? Okay, okay, okay. Sige. Make buttons na lang. Lagi mo lang sa pinaka... Make two buttons for... L and R and T and B. Top and bottom. Two buttons... For... Left and right. And top and bottom. For top and... Bottom. Left... And right. Mm-hmm. And then? They're good to go. Okay. Why do parenthesis? Huh? Why do parenthesis? Mm, what do I do? Okay. Ah, uh, siguro mas madaling intindihin kung yung top and bottom gagawin mong ampersand yung end na gamit nila sa left and right and then maglagay ka ng end sa gitna come again so ah, I, I top see, and bottom okay, yeah, yeah. and left and right so magiging ampersand siya para okay there thank you there okay so pwede na tayo mag move on sa animation anong animation yung gagawin natin what are what so I don't know what so what, what, what I don't even know, know that there's animation for that. Like, do you have like any example? Ano sa tingin mo pwedeng maging animation sa project natin? Like, mm, what I know is like something like this was so... Wait, how do I add the layer? I go like this. How do you, how do you... Okay, tagalim mo yung layer 1. How do you tang... Zero. I, I, zero opacity mo na lang kung ganun din pala. Okay, so then, dito. Mm-hmm. So something like um it will be embedded. Do you get it? For example, this is the button. Mm-hmm. Like that. So this is for the button. So if you click it and like bouncy to toot, toot mm-hmm. it'll, it'll okay, go okay. up or go down. Okay. Okay. And then for the wheel, the turning turning, the twirl. Yeah. Then muna tayo, step back muna tayo. Wala muna ng animation para sa button. Sa wheel right. muna tayo. Okay, for the wheel. 
eh, okay, balik tayo dun sa notes mo. So, kailangan natin yung pag-spin the wheel. Ah, oh, right! Spinning... Yung pag-spin niya. Of the wheel? Yeah, and then yung moment pag nagsa-stop siya, yung magsa-slow down na siya. Hindi natin gawin yun. Uh, what do you call it? Stop? The moment the wheel stops spinning ah. na lang, sige. Okay. Mm-hmm. You think, ano, done na ba tayo? How, the button. You wanna add animation sa button? Yeah, when you click it, like, you know, the up, boop, boop. Okay, pwede ba tayong bumalik sa discussion natin sa most viable product? Mm-hmm. Oh. So, yeah. tingin mo ba MVP siya? I don't know. Or secondary na lang? Secondary. Mm-hmm. So, pwede natin siyang ilabas sa MVP discussion. Nalagay natin siya sa secondary. So, okay, so... Uh, mm-hmm. So, like ano that? Yan? Eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, button animation? Pwede. Alright. Button click animation para more more descriptive. Alright. Tadam. Tadam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So tingin mo pwede na tayong mag-divide ng logic part? Alright, let's go logic. So, okay. Paano natin i-approach yung logic para sa iyo? Ah, uh, Paano natin, gusto kong malaman kung paano yung way of thinking mo sa paggawa ng mga ganito. So, paano natin, ano ba yung features ng isang spin the wheel? Ano ba yung gusto mong gawin talaga dito? So, ano yung magiging logic niya? Like... Don't worry, hindi kita, alam mo yun, hindi ako nag expect ng sakto-sakto sagot. Gusto ko lang makrinig kung ano yung magiging way of thinking mo. So, Pag masyadong pressure yung sarili mo. Um, how about the 50-50 itself? The 50-50 itself, meaning? Uh, what do you want, like, the, the random, which part, which side? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, decision kung sino yung mananalo, kung yung top or bottom. Mm-hmm. Sige, pwede natin lagay yun. Mm-hmm. How do, I, how do I, how do I, Decide... Ah, we'll decide. F- decide 50-50. Decide... Decide the 50-50. 50-50. Uy. Ay, dami. Decide the 50-50. Alright. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pwede natin pag-usapan ngayon kung paano nangyayari yung sa Valorant. Dahil nag-Valorant ka. Okay. So, kapag binaril kita ng Vandal... Kailan nagde-decide na tinamaan ka? Pagputok ng barel or pagtama ng barel? Oh, pagputok. Pagtama ng bala. Pagputok? Yeah. Yes, pagputok. So, secondary na lang yung animation. May mga guns na hindi ganun yung decision. Uh, hindi nangyayari yun sa Valorant. Uh, sa Valorant kasi lahat nagde-decide before mangyari yung animation. So, ang issue mo nga dyan, kapag bataas yung ping, magugulat ka, ha, bakit hindi tumama pero tumama, napatay mo siya, or namatay ka pero sa, sa view mo, hindi siya tumama, mm. kasi nagde-decide yung Valorant, bago mag-start yung animation sa, may mga guns na hindi ganon sa Fortnite like yung, uh, DMR mm-hmm. meron yung trajectory, so hindi siya agad nagde-decide sa pagputok niya pero sa Valorant, hindi nangyayari yun mm-hmm. so sa tingin mo ba, sa case natin, ano ang pwede? Kailan nagaganap yung 50-50 na decision? Before the animation or after the animation? After the animation. Hmm? No, no, no. Yeah, after the... It cannot okay. decide before... So like... It will decide after spinning. What is after spinning? Uh, matapos na niyang umikot? Yun may gusto mo sabihin? O matapos mong pindutin yung start na button? Uh, 
after spinning. So, tingin mo hindi pwede mag-decide yung game kung may nanalo bago mag-spin? Hindi niya kaya? Hindi. Gusto ko lang malaman yung way of thinking mo. No need, hindi mo need pressure yung so sarili wait. mo. Pero bakit? So, if you, if you click the button, the start button, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you click the start button, ano? Mm -hmm. No! Start button, mm -hmm. animation of the spinning, and then decide mm -hmm. after the spinning. Mm -hmm. Ganyan? Why? Why like that? Bakit ganun? For you, bakit? Kasi, what if, ano, what if it won't spin? Tapos, mag-decide agad. Gusto ko makita na spin. Sino mag-decide kung hindi nagsispin? Ha? Sino mag-decide kung hindi nagsispin? I don't know. That's what I know lang. So, what do you think? So, yung, yung... Yung reason mo kung bakit gusto mo after ng animation kasi baka hindi mag-spin. Yeah. Baka, baka siya mag-decide tapos hindi naman nag-spin. I wanted to see the spinning before it decides. Dinescribe mo kung ano yung nangyayari. Kung bakit minsan tinamaan ka sa Valorant pero yung animation hindi nangyayari. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hindi na-register ng client mo na kailangan niya ng animation pero... Natanggap na pala ng server na nag-hit siya. And then, so, dito yung, ito yung problema. Kaya may packet, ito yung, kaya yun yung reason sa packet loss. So, nag-send ka ng hit na data sa server. And then, nag-decide yung server, okay, nag-hit siya. Pwede mo nang i yung animation. Pero, may packet loss ka. Yun yung tinatawag kung bakit yung, yun yung reason kung bakit ang tawag is ping. Kasi kailangan mong mag-ping ng data and then kailangan bumalik yun. So, dapat mag-ping pong siya. Parang ilan ng ping pong. So, kapag hindi, nag, hindi bumalik yung data, pag ping lang siya, or kapag nag-ping siya, and then ang bumalik is 50% lang ng data, meron kang packet loss. Mm -hmm. So, ang mangyayari, kapag nag-send ka, sabihin mo, oh, eto yung hit ko. Mag-decide tayo ngayon kung nag-hit na ba, and then, nag-decide na yung server, wala kang cheat, walang kahit ano, nag-decide na, okay, hit na natin yan. Pwede mo nang i yung animation sa client mo. Pero, hindi natanggap ng client mo na, ah, sumang-ayon yung server sa hit kailangan na ng animation. Hindi niya natanggap yun. So, patay ka na bago mag yung animation. Yun yung reason kung bakit sa packet loss nagiging issue yun. So, sa case natin, inexplain ko lang na yung decision mo, yung naging decision mo, uh, may sasagot niya yung problema ng Valorant sa ganun. Pero, sa pagdating naman sa pagiging real-time niya, hindi yun magiging effective kasi pwedeng mabagal lang yung PC mo and then hindi naman mabagal yung PC ng kalaro mo hindi na niya problema yun problema mo na yun mm -hmm. kaya ang nangyayari talagang hit bago yung animation sa Valorant sa atin mas magandang gawin na uh, decision bago yung spin kasi yung spin ano lang yan animation lang yan para lang mangyari so it, kung ano yung nakasanayan natin so it doesn't Kumbaga, parang, go so anim uh, it's just an animation, so it doesn't matter if it's spin siya or hindi, like that. Is that what you mean? Kahit anong mangyayari magsispin siya, walang reason para hindi siya magspin unless may bug. So 100% magsispin siya, yun yung intended, yung intended natin na feature. Decide, after mag-decide, spin. Yung decision niya is sobrang quick hindi ka na mag-aano, magkakaroon ng... Talagang mas mabilis pa siya sa pagpikit mo. So, Kasi so what mabilis do I put... CPU. So, what's the logic then? Decide the 50-50 before the animation. Okay, so decide before spin. What do I put here in the second? Ano? Decide the 50 before the spin animation. So... Decide before. Before the spin. Before the spin. 
Mm-hmm. So, so, ngayon, so decide after clicking the start button. Yep, yep, ganun. So it's like, it's like that. After the click na lang lagay mo. After so, lagay mo, decide after. Decide after the click. Click. Yeah, screen. Like that. Mm-hmm. I remove this. No, 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 no. Decide before the spin and then parenthesis after the click. Okay. Kasi pareho na siyang decide. Pareho so, siyang we decision. have a start button. Mm-hmm. You have a start button. So, let me... So, maybe somewhere here. Maybe somewhere here. Hold on. What? What? That's why. I'm sorry. Feel fine. Can I write like um that start ah, or spin? Queen. Yeah, spin. Spin. Okay. Okay. And then. Do you think we're done now? Okay, we're done na sa logic. So, madali lang talaga yung logic. Okay. Mahihirapan ka sa animation. Ngayon, okay. confident ka na ba na pwede na tayo mag-move on sa programming? Sa tingin mo ba, sakto na tong steps na to para magawa yung kailangan natin gawin? Where do we put the spin button? You want the spin button? Yeah. Lagay mo na lang sa looks. Sa looks? And that will mm-hmm. be after this. Or... You can make it before the make the circle na lang. Okay. Doesn't matter na rin naman sa part niyan. Uh, s- make Make the spin button. Alright. Okay. Got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you confident na na pwede natin i-program? Yeah. Okay. So, download mm-hmm. mo muna yung VS Code. <laughs> where, where do I go? Search mo download VS Code sa so Firefox. Download VS Code. For for or just nah, like that. No need, no need, no need, no need. And then. Yep. Click me first link. This one. Key. So, text editor. Download mo mo na bago mag explain. This one. Mhm. Yep. 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 Check the upper message. Green okay. one. What's up, daddy? The green one. Hello, daddy. I am a student of Boss today. Boss is my professor, and we are trying to make a website for Minesuper 5050. <laughs> yeah, above, this says if you want. This is the link. Nah, don't share the link. Oh no, I shared the link. Mm, uh, you shouldn't have shared the link. This I will speak in English din pala so that you can understand me properly because we're not making any jokes naman. Alright. What you think? Yeah, uh, can we, you scroll up? We can, no, we can... Make jokes? I mean, like, it's, yeah, we can make jokes <laughs> and stuff, but like, we can mix. You can Tagalog in English. Excuse me. How do I delete the message, boss? Mm, I think it's fine. I wanted it to not be there because... Uh, one of the crucial skill that a programmer can have is their ability to Google their problems. How do I, how can do give I them delete? the exact link, delete. but it's much better for them to know how to Google properly. That's why I didn't want you to share the link. But it's fine. It should be fine. I, I don't know how to delete. It's okay. You want to you want to delete it? Then? Yeah, yeah. I think I should open it using. Uh, pop out and then scared. after you pop out. Scared of what? But it's not, okay. I don't know why. Well, what's so wrong about it? Yeah, I explained, I explained that uh, one of the essential skills of a programmer should be uh, show moderation icons. Oh, it's checked, but I don't have the moderate. Is it because they need to know how to? 
All right, so is it okay to move on without deleting it? Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. It's fine, it's fine. So I've downloaded the VS Code, the Visual Studio Code, and then okay. install it. And then while you're installing uh, it, I will explain why it's important to have your very okay. own specific Download. editor for yourself. Run. I'll wait for you. Just tell me when you're ready. Huh? I accept the agreement. Next. Next. Create the desktop icon. Next. Install. Okay, installing. Nah, huh? Yep, install. So, an editor. What language do I use? Uh, Ruby TypeScript. Uh, let me show you our plan Ruby backend already. TypeScript front end. Talang. Talang. So finish. They want you want they want to explain the uh, Notepad first because I can go down and pee if you want, and then All you right. can re-explain everything to Daddy. And I don't think that everyone has started. The explanation earlier on time mm -hmm. um maybe oh. all right all right so while our professor is away uh, eh, let me that down okay so what we're planning for today's stream is to make a Minesweeper 50-50 roulette wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? No, 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 no. Well, anyways, I'm gonna explain what we are planning to do. So every time I play um, Minesweeper, I tend to uh, encounter some 50-50, uh, 50-50, you know, 50-50 board. And I found out sometimes, like, if I cannot decide, I go to this uh, website called Will Decide and then change the part here, like, top to bottom. And then I will just spin just to, you know, just to for the roulette to guess, which is the safe side for so that I won't, it won't be hard for me to decide. And it, it, it's fun, it's fun to use the roulette. And I want to make one with boss. For me to use too, okay? And this is what, yeah, this is the design. We have a top <laughs> or bottom, <laughs> bottom, okay, and then we have the left or right button too. Cause yeah, there's there there's four sides for the 50/50, either top or bottom or left or right. And this is the plan. So boss and me. This is the plan. this is like the lesson plan of boss. So this is the stream structure. We have introduction tools, HTML and CSS, JavaScript, and for the design, we're looking. This is the steps that we're gonna do. This one: make the spin button, make the circle, add the text inside the circle, and divide the circle into two, and add some color choices and two buttons for top and bottom and left and right. And for the animation, these are these are the only animations. But maybe we can add maybe more. But for now, this is it. Spinning of the wheel and the moment will stop spinning at the moment. Yeah. And the logic of plus Toby is to decide the 50 50 and decide before the spin. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, but. <laughs> I actually mm -hmm. don't know what they're talking about. It's okay, okay Twist. Okay. So you did great. You did great. Very descriptive. So. So. Yeah, the editor. So uh, I showed the editor. Yeah, I, I just want to explain how important an editor for a programmer is. So, mm -hmm. uh, no one's forcing you to use a specific editor. You can use any editor that you want. You can even use a simple text editor such as Notepad to make your program. But the problem with that is you don't have any uh, widgets to use, like uh, let's say uh, color scheme. You won't be able to see the closing tag and ending tag of an HTML property and fast without a proper color schemes. So uh, there are also plenty of shortcuts 
for a proper text editor compared to a simple one like Notepad. So having a proper text editor will uh, make your work faster. And knowing your editor and uh, mastering your editor will make your work much, much faster. Mm -hmm. So, I made you download VS Code because on VS Code, you have a choice to uh, make it an... Um, make it the text editor for yourself you can be a ruby programmer and you can use vs code you can be a javascript programmer and you can use vs code uh for here's here's the thing there are plenty of editors for a specific programming language uh let's say ruby uh you can use ruby mine yeah, it's a specific uh programming language for ruby or let's say let's see i think there's specific uh yeah for example let's say uh java i think netbeans is mm -hmm. the specific programming language for it but even though there's a specific programming language for programming java and there's a specific programming language for programming ruby all of that can be done using vs code because of uh the widget store you can customize your text editor to your liking that's why i made you download this code so okay. in our case we were we're gonna work on a javascript project for on a very simple javascript project vs code is made using javascript so there's no need to install anything because all of the things that you need to make a javascript javascript program is already installed in vs code because that's that's how it was made using javascript mm. So it's for for our case it's the best uh program for us it's the best text editor for us but uh even if it's the best text editor for us text editor for you uh if you want to be a programmer you need to properly know your text editor you, you don't need you, uh, I I advise you not to hop editors all the time mm -hmm. because I think of it as an extension it's think of it as your extra hand so for me I use vim and I have all hotkeys uh, made for my own liking so I have no need for a mouse I, I can traverse my code with only my keyboard uh, it's not much I've invested six months for learning uh, Vim commands, but it's saving me a lot of time afterwards. So, for uh, for an eight-hour work for me before, mm. uh, I can I can turn it down to six hours. So I've saved up two hours a day, which is ten hours a week of work, and, and then yeah, forty hours per month. And Save. so so the editor that we are gonna use for this stream is this one the vs code huh? yes because okay, it's okay, the okay. perfect fit for us right now because we're just making a javascript project all right so all no right. need for anything else okay but even though like i said it's flexible you will be able to add any features that you want okay can you go to the text editor again uh okay the VS code. okay so you see on the left side there mm -hmm. are a couple of icons mm -hmm. The first one is the file explorer, the very top left. If you click that, it's the file explorer. Top left, no, the, the icons on the left. This above one? the Yeah, that's the file explorer. So you can open a specific project uh, or a specific folder and you will be able to see what types of files are inside it. It can be a text, it can be a PNG. Uh, you can open a PNG using a VS code, but you will see uh, ASCII codes. You won't be able to understand it because it's not meant to open uh, an image. But you can install a widget to open images inside VS code. But we don't need that right now. I'm just explaining how uh, it works. How it works. Okay. The possibilities. You can even install a game inside VS code if you want. But yeah, that's outside the scope of what we're trying to do right now. So. Do you have any questions regarding the text editor? None. Okay, so, so what I want to do is, where do we start here? In this editor. Okay. 
So. Just for context, this is my first time being in this editor. Editor. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yes. So. I think it's best if I just explain all the things on the left side first before we move on. So we have the file explorer on the most top left, which is the two page, two paper icons. Mm -hmm. And then below that we have the search. Uh, search. Uh, can you click search? Yep. You can search for a specific text inside a folder. Let's say you have a folder with ten files, and you're looking for you're you're looking for a name or a text. Let's say boss. You can search there, and it will look for all the text inside the ten files. Ah, so for example, we have to we have something to add on that part, or we have something to edit on that part. Uh, yeah, you can jump you, on you, that. I I'll use part. this. Mm -hmm. Okay, got yep. it. And yep. this one. And then below that is the source, source control. control. Uh, it's a way to save your file. Oh, so oh, oh, can I have a question, sir? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sir, boss. Uh, what is Git? Yeah. So. What does Git mean? It's a version control system. It's a VCS. Uh, the traditional way. So the traditional way of saving a file is by right-clicking it and then saving it, or save as, or save. But the problem with that is we won't be able to have the previous version of that file. So let's say we're using Photoshop. People will normally make a file and then save it as PNG and let's say it's Twisu01. And then if they edited it and they still want to keep the file, they will do Twisu02. That's how they version control it through mm. namespace. But for Git, it's different because Git is answering a problem that uh the one that I've exampled earlier, which is the Twiswa 1 and Twiswa 2. The problem with that is on Twiswa 1 you have let's say you have 10 parts of the file and you've changed the part 10 of that file and then you've saved that to Twiswa 2. So you have two files with the same first nine parts. So the only difference is the last part. So you have nine extra data that you don't need. So that's the problem with that traditional way of saving a file. Mm. In Git, it's different. Git knows and remember all the specific changes and only the specific mm. changes. So if you change the part 10 of a single file, it knows. It doesn't need to save anything between 1 to 9. It just saved the change for the 10th part. And it saves so much space. And besides that, you will be able to have version control, which means you can have, you can save for 10 times and then you will be able to move to the fifth save. So let's say uh, Facebook, so, for so, example. So just hmm? like, um, so just like when I tried to download um, Unity. And there's you have specific, versions, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, because of it's Git, done through Git, we're able to like, even yeah. though it's updating, updating and updating, I have a choice yes. to not use the updated one. Yes. Ah, yes, ah, yes ah, 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 ah. Got it. Got and it. Got it. Git help with that. Also, and... so think of Git like if you've watched the Marvel Universe. Remember when Hulk was explaining uh, how they will save the timeline without ruining the timeline, mm -hmm. and he was explaining it to the Supreme One. Remember when he wanted to just grab the Infinity Stone? Mm. And then the Supreme One was saying that if you do that, you will have a uh, diverge in the path and you will have two timeline. Mm. Think of it like that, GitHub. GitHub can be like that. It, it can have branches of changes. You can work on the main timeline and I can work on the second timeline. And we won't have any effect on each other. So remember when uh, Hulk said that they will get the Infinity Stone and they will return the Infin Infinity Stone on that specific moment. So even if uh, so even if the story had branched out, mm. they branch in at the same time they branched out. So it doesn't have any effect. Mm -hmm. In theory, we can do that as well in Git. Or is it but, run and debug? What 